I often draw inspiration from archaeological ruins and what they embody in their given context. I'm interested in the invisible dialogue occurring between archaeology and the landscape in which they inhabit. So through colour and texture and found object, I unravel the dialogue between these entities and then begin to start thinking about notions of time. The process in my work often begins with a found object, and that could be a hedgehog, which was roadkill, for instance, or a sequin skirt, which was also a throwaway object. I take these back to the studio and they, they demand to be examined or taken apart. So this is often a very laborious but meditative process, taking a found object to pieces, where then these fragments start to have their own agency and they begin to impact the entire surface and they dictate the whole composition. Um, so these fragments actually revolve around the archaeological fragment or the landscape, but I'm interested in my work embodying these layers of time. Layers of time are referenced in the layers of colour and then slowly my work starts to refer to notions of beauty, decay and preservation. An artist that has definitely influenced my work um, over the last few years has been Gabriel Orozco. I particularly enjoy the way that he collects and orders objects into his own idiosyncratic categories. The work of Agnes Martin has also influenced my work, particularly her use of the grid. Um, I often start my work with a grid structure and the composition unravels through the grid. So an object from the museum's permanent collection, which I felt quite mesmerized by, was a wine jug from the geometric period, which consists of lattice filling and double lozenges. I actually often use these recurring motifs from funerary amphoras and from wine jugs of that period to unravel the surface within my own works.